Okay, so hello fellow coin collectors, and in today's video, we have the new $1 coin that was issued in December, I think November or December 2023, and this has the Charles III effigy on it. So the first coin issued was a $1 coin, and as you can see, this is the effigy, and these are going to be pretty common. So at first, it's reported 3.5 million of these coins minted. Then later on, I think they're probably just still going to mint these coins. Some people were saying 10 million. I'm not too sure where they get their information from. But if you have a look at the effigy, uh, the initial is DT, so I can't remember who actually designed this coin. Uh, Charles III, Australia. So when they issue commemorative coins, they're going to have the denomination down below. So, uh, but at the moment, you know, they probably need to fix this up with uh, the missing space down below it makes the coin look a real a little bit amateuristic and if we look on the obverse of the coin so this is the back we just have these standard designs so in the past like like in india when they actually change the monarch uh, sometimes they change the coin design Obviously, Australia didn't do that in 1910, 1911. Uh, but in 1936 uh, and 38, we did change the coin designs. But in 1952, 53, we didn't. So it does depend. And this time, we're not going to actually change the coin designs. And what I also got was the $2 coin, 2021. This is going to be a pretty common coin. So... That brings us, will these coins with the Joey Clark effigy be worth a lot of money? Well, what we need to do is look up the mintages for this $2 coin. So here we are on the Royal Australian Mint. They have the mintage figures, which is the best, and probably not the most reliable, but the best site to actually get these figures from. So 2021, we have 13.9 million. Uh, two dollar coins and then we've got 22 and 23 shouldn't be finalized yet but 5.2 million and i'm not talking about commemorative coins either so one dollar coins let's see if this is actually on the website okay so we've got all the actual commemorative coins I need to go down below and uh, too quick okay so they don't have any you know, of the 2023, but the 2021 mob of ruse is probably the one to get. And the 2022 mob of ruse, you know, it's going to be a common coin. Uh, so, this is probably the last year that we'll know that they issued any more 2021 coins. But obviously, most of the 2021s are donation dollars. So, uh, if you know, 13 million coins. So if we take some other coins they issued in the past. So we've got Fulpens coins. These are minted in high numbers. Uh, if we look at the Renix catalog very quickly, we can find most of those are 1955. So the 1955 Fulpens. Okay, we've got it open. That had a mintage of um, 27 million. And we're looking for one with a similar date. So 49. Okay, we have some other ones as well. 63, yeah, 44. Ah, so anyway, those ones, even with 13 million, these ones are just pretty common. Uh, and in circulated grade, you know, these are probably worth 2 or $3 each. And then you got other coins. Now, these are high mintage US coins. So we've got silver uh, 5 cent coins. We've got the steel 1 cent coin. We've got the old copper nickel 5 cent from 1883. Yeah, but this one's only worth about 5 or $10. So really, you know, just because it's old uh, just, and no longer in circulation doesn't mean that they're worth quite a lot of money. Uh, even... Oh, what's an older coin? So even this coin, so this is an old 2P. 
from Cambodia, around about 1840s. So these only sell for about $20, uh, a pretty common coin. And, oh, that's right. So, what sort of map of coins? So this is a 2,000 year old coin, the Satavahana. And these ones you can probably pick up for about, you know, about fifty dollars for that one. So that's one of the scarcest expensive coins. But if uh, okay, oh, I put all the older coins away. But okay, Mombasa coin. So this is from Kenya. It's eighteen eighty eight. Yeah, but in this condition, only worth about ten to twenty dollars. So, hopefully, there's a few examples of coins where, even though they're old, they're not really that much value. But because these ones are going to be common coins, I'm talking about the Joe Clark as well as the Charles Deferred. Uh, it doesn't hurt to actually keep them you now for about two or three years and see what the market does. You might lose a little bit of value, but you probably won't notice it. But in the long term, based on my experience with coins, uh, these are not really going to go up that much in value. And the majority of these are just going to be face value. So I hope that helps you with your coin collecting. It's not investment advice. Just collect coins if you like them. Anyway, let's say thank you very much. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and... Goodbye.